Hello, Yaritza. Hello, good evening. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I'm fine, thank you. What did you do today? I work with only. Oh, okay. And what time do you work, Yaritza? Mm, nine a.m. at seven p.m. Okay. Ooh, very late. Yes. yes. Mm hmm. Okay, good. Ernesto, how are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. I'm fine. How was your day, Ernesto? So so. Um, no me quejo, de hecho. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay, no complaints. Uh -uh. Okay. Okay, good. This is the idea, right? To enjoy the life. Okay. Well, welcome everyone. Thank you for coming. Thank you for being here on time. And today we are going to continue with learning about special occasions, okay? So we have special occasions. Yesterday we learned about Mother's Day, Father's Day, uh, the different words, graduation, wedding, and anniversary. In El Salvador, when is Mother's Day? Food. When do we have Mother's Day in El Salvador? On May 10th. Very good, Yaritza, on May 10th. Very nice, good. And when do we have Christmas? When is Christmas? When is Christmas? On December 25th. 25th. 25th, okay. Okay, good. And Anna, do you celebrate on December 25th? Okay, eso fecha Navidad. Uh-huh, okay. Mm -hmm. And do you, do you celebrate? On the 25th? Yes. Not the 24th? No. Okay. All right. Okay. Wendy, are you okay? Good evening. Good evening, Wendy. Yes, I am okay. Okay. Do you have a question, Wendy? No. No. Okay. No. All right. No. Okay, no problem, checking. Wendy, when is Father's Day? Is um, John, John 7th, 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 creo que se pronuncia, no estoy seguro. 17th. 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 Good, okay. good, okay. Si se acuerdan, esto fue lo que aprendimos ayer, 15th. Uh, the numbers, the numbers when we finish is finish with 24th, 14th, 17th. These are the days. Today, we are going to continue with dates, but for activities, what do we do? Here, we are in platform 1.13. 1.13, and you can watch the video and look at the activities. This picture. Mother's Day, Father's Day, graduation, wedding, anniversary. Send cards, give presents, take pictures, 
sing songs, dance, eat cake, have a party, have a picnic, eat special food. Do you understand all of these activities? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, Eric. Do you understand all of these activities? Hello? Yes. Yes? Yes. Okay. Okay. So today we're going to practice a little bit about the special occasions and the activities. Okay. What do we do in special occasions and the activities? Okay. So, okay. For example, for Christmas, what do you do? What do you do for Christmas? Dance. Sing cards. Mm -hmm. Give presents. Have a party. <laughs> yeah, very good. Okay. Take a picture. Good. Okay, let's see. Let's try. Vanessa. Special food. Ah, but have. Ruth, have special food. Have. Have mm -hmm. a special food. Correct. Very good. Okay. Okay. Vanessa, what does Ruth do for Christmas? What does Ruth do for Christmas? Dancing, song. No, not dancing. Give, 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 give presents. No, Ruth doesn't no. give presents. Mm -hmm. Ana Beatriz, what does Ruth do for Christmas? Repeat, please. What does Ruth do for Christmas? She's going to eat special food. Excellent, Jocelyn. Very uh -huh. good. Very good, Jocelyn. Okay. Good. She is going to eat special food. Okay. This is for the future, but we say the sentence. Okay. Because Ruth says, I have special food. We say she has special food. Okay. Let's try another example. Uh, Daniel, what do you do for Christmas? Mm, special food, dancing, um, send car. Okay, remember, special food is no action. The action is, I have special food. I have the special food. Oh, okay. But dancing is not correct. It's, I dance. I dance. Correct. So, Daniel, what okay. do you do for Christmas? I dance. I have a special food. Okay, good. Crisia. What does Daniel do for Christmas? He does a special food and 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 he does dancing. Okay. Dance. Okay, and then Christia, thank you. But no, no does. So he we say he has special food, right? Okay. And we say he dances okay. esto es lo que vamos a practicar en el grupo ¿por qué? Teacher, sorry, I don't understand uh, what, I Eric? Don't understand. Um, all of them <clears throat> sorry, the what? I don't, I don't understand yes, Eric, no problem I explain eso es lo que vamos a practicar en el grupo, haciendo la pregunta, ¿qué hacen para estas ocasiones? 
What do you do for Christmas? What do you do for Mother's Day? What do you do for, okay? Cuando el compañero conteste, va a decir I y las acciones que hacen. Y el otro compañero va a decir lo que hizo él. Por como el ejemplo, Daniel dice, I have special food. Daniel dijo, I, I dance. Creo que dijiste, ¿verdad, Daniel? Yes. Yes. Entonces, si me preguntas a mí, yo no voy a decir, I dance. Yo voy a decir, Daniel, he dances. Yo voy a, no voy a decir, I have special food. Yo voy a decir, he has special food. Porque tenemos que practicar las dos formas. Primera persona, I. Y la acción, I dance, I eat, I have special food. Y tengo que practicar la tercera persona, lo que la otra persona hace. He has, he eats, he dances. Acuérdense, cuando hablamos de otra persona, le agregamos una S a la palabra. Okay. Si la persona no dice do, yo no voy a decir do. Yo no le voy a agregar. Si la persona no dice eh, eat, yo no le voy a poner eat. Si Ruth dice, I eat special food, ah, entonces yo puedo decir, she eats special food. Si Ruth dice, I have special food, yo voy a decir, she has special food. Porque estoy diciendo lo que ella ha dicho, lo que ella hace. Ah, ok, gracias. De nada, Eric. ¿Un ejemplo más o les quedó claro? One more, please. One more, ok. Yeah, please. Ok, perfect. Vamos a ver con Wendy. Wendy, what do you do for Christmas? Repeat, please, slowly. Yes. Wendy, what do you do for Christmas? Uh, I'm, I'm, go I'm going to cook. So, so, no estamos usando el futuro. ¿Por qué? Ok. ¿Qué vas a hacer? No estamos hablando qué van a hacer. Estamos hablando qué hacen. Uh, ¿Qué hago? Ajá. Uh, so, I, I has, I has cooking. I have. Cooking. No, Wendy. I have. I do. No has. Only I um, cook. I cook. I am cook. Sería. No, Wendy. No. Solo I, I cook. I cook only. Only I cook. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Déjame poner en silencio que creo que tenemos algunas personas con mucho sonido de background. Ok. Ok. Entonces intentemos una vez más, Wendy. Ok. Estás hablando de ti misma. Ok, Wendy. Ok. What do you do for Christmas? I, uh, I meet meeting my with family. Ok. I meet with families. Meet. Mm -hmm. Not meeting. No, no, no. reunión. Te reunís. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I meet with mm -hmm. my family. Excellent, Wendy. Excellent. Ahora yo le voy a preguntar a Eduardo. Eduardo, what does Wendy do? Ok, Eduardo desapareció. Vamos con. Ok. Ok, Eduardo. Eduardo, what... ¿cómo te importa? ¿Hm? Me repite, por favor. Yes, Eduardo. What does Wendy do? What does me dijo? What does Wendy do? Eduardo, tenés audífonos para ayudarte a escuchar mejor. Sí, pues ahorita los desconecto. Se escucha mejor. No, no, yo para vos, para que escuches bien, porque yo sé que tenés a la niña en la tele, la gente hablando. 
Entonces, todos esos ruidos te van a distraer. Yo para que puedes hablar y escuchar mejor. Okay. ok, Eduardo. Ok. Ok, Eduardo. Intentemos una vez más. What does Wendy do for Christmas? I... No, no hay. No hay. What does Wendy do for Christmas? I go. No, no hay, hay. ¿De qué te estoy preguntando, Eduardo? Ok. Ok, Wendy dijo. Ah, pregunta de lo que estaba haciendo la compañera, ¿verdad? Pues digo que ahí no me importa que uno pague la U y si usted quiere va a Si no la escuché, ¿qué dijo sure. ella? Eduardo, I meet, I meet the... with my family. Yes, very good. Ah, uh -huh. Wendy, uh -huh. Wendy Gu, Wendy Gu Christmas. In... No. Teacher. Can I... Yes. Can I participate? Yes, Elmer, try. Ayudémosle a Eduardo. Eduardo, debes de buscar un okay. lugar donde vos puedes poner atención y no estar distraído para que así puedas okay. escuchar un poco mejor. Se te va a hacer más fácil. Elmer? Ok. Uh -huh. Can I try? Ok. Yes, uh, Elmer. Oh. Wendy meets where her family in Christmas. Correct. Correct. Wendy meets with her family in Christmas. Okay. That is the correct. Entonces, ¿qué tenemos que practicar? Tenemos que hacer, por ejemplo, vamos a hacer en grupos de tres. Una persona va a hacer la pregunta, un compañero va a contestar y el otro compañero va a contestar lo que hace esa persona. Después, Wendy va a hacer la pregunta y voy a hacer una, una respuesta y una respuesta. Después el otra persona. Hagamos un ejemplo más para que les quede claro qué es lo que necesitan hacer. ¿Ok? En este caso vamos a tener Jocelyn, Moisés, en Paola como los ejemplos para que nos demuestren qué es lo que vamos a hacer. Jocelyn, Moisés, en Paola. Okay. Okay, teacher. What do you do in Christmas? I eat. Uh, how do you say pan con pavo? Chicken sandwich. Chicken sandwich. I eat chicken sandwich with my family. Ok. Esa es la primera pregunta que va para Paola. Ahora Jocelyn le va a hacer la pregunta a Moisés, pero no para Moisés, sino que de qué hace Paola. What uh, Paola do in Christmas? Más o menos, Moisés. Jocelyn. What does Paola do? Ok. What does Paola do in Christmas? Um, Paola eat chicken sandwich uh, with her family. Más o menos, Moisés. Muy bien. Acuérdate que para cuando hablamos de la tercera persona, ese. Paola eats. Eats. Ok. Eats chicken okay. sandwich. El que está confundido, para eso, acuérdense, en el chat están cómo se hacen las estructuras. Para eso estamos ahí para que puedan ver. Lo, en el chat están lo que puse hace como 10 minutos. Ahí lo van a ver a las 9 y 10. Ahí están cómo se hacen las preguntas para la primera persona, cómo hacen la pregunta para la tercera persona y cómo se puede responder. ¿Es ok? Okay, yeah, okay. 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 Vamos a intentar hacerlo. Okay. Let's try. 
Let's try to make the groups. Hi everyone, in this class you'll develop skills in scanning and reading for details by reading an article about birthday celebrations in different countries. What are you going to do on your birthday? Elena Buenaventura, Madrid. My 21st birthday is on Saturday and I'm going to go out with some friends. To wish me a happy birthday, they're going to pull on my ear 21 times once for each year. It's an old custom. Some people pull on the ear just once, but my friends are very traditional. Yen Ching Shi, Taipei. Tomorrow is my 16th birthday. It's a special birthday, so we're going to have a family ceremony. I'm probably going to get some money in lucky envelopes from my relatives. My mother is going to cook noodles. Noodles are for a long life. Mr. and Mrs. Aoki, Kyoto. My husband is going to be 60 tomorrow. In Japan, the 60th birthday is called Kandeki. It's the beginning of a new life. The color red represents a new life. So children often give something red as a present. What are our children going to give him? A red hat and vest. Philippe Jolie, Paris. 
I'm going to be 30 next week, so I'm going to invite three very good friends out to dinner. In France, when you have a birthday, you often invite people out. In some countries, I know it's the opposite. People take you out. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll develop skills in scanning and reading for details by reading an article about birthday celebrations in different countries. What are you going to do on your birthday? Elena Buenaventura, Madrid. My 21st birthday is on Saturday, and I'm going to go out with some friends. To wish me a happy birthday, they're going to pull on my ear 21 times, once for each year. It's an old custom. Some people pull on the ear just once, but my friends are very traditional. Yen Ching Shi, Taipei. Tomorrow is my 16th birthday. It's a special birthday, so we're going to have a family ceremony. I'm probably going to get some money in lucky envelopes from my relatives. My mother is going to cook noodles. Noodles are for a long life. Mr. and Mrs. Aoki, Kyoto. My husband is going to be 60 tomorrow. In Japan, the 60th birthday is called Kandeki. It's the beginning of a new life. The color red represents a new life. So children often give something red as a present. What are our children going to give him? A red hat and vest. Philippe Jolie, Paris. I'm going to be 30 next week, so I'm going to invite three very good friends out to dinner. In France, when you have a birthday, you often invite people out. In some countries, I know it's the opposite. People take you out. Okay, good. Any questions? Teacher, yes, how Paola. do you say no hace nada? Él o ella, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay, he doesn't do anything or she doesn't do anything. Any other questions? Thanks, teacher. You're welcome, Paula. No, teacher, I, I don't have Question, ¿y uh, she o el nombre de la persona se puede poner cuando uno le, o sea, como que uno le, le dice lo que ella está haciendo? Eh, no entendí, bro. ¿cuál es la pregunta? Ok, por ejemplo, she had, she had special food o sería Ruth, Ruth had special food. 
Ah, uh, correct. The, the, the two are house. correct. Yes, Ruth, the two are correct. Oh. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. Any other questions? No? ¿Les quedó bien para todo lo demás? Yes. ¿Cuál es lo más importante de la lección? Acordarse usar la S. Use the S for third person. S for third person. Okay? Now we're going to practice the reading. Here we're going to listen and read. Okay? Como la lectura, como la imagen un poco pequeño, le mandé en WhatsApp lo que vamos a leer. Si no lo pueden ver en la pantalla, en el WhatsApp, pueden hacerlo más grande y escuchar mientras vamos leyendo. Okay. Here is the reading. What are you going to do on your birthday? Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll develop skills in scanning and reading for details by reading an article about birthday celebrations in different countries. What are you going to do on your birthday? Elena Buenaventura, Madrid. My 21st birthday is on Saturday, and I'm going to go out with some friends. To wish me a happy birthday, they're going to pull on my ear 21 times, once for each year. It's an old custom. Some people pull on the ear just once, but my friends are very traditional. Yen Ching Shi, Taipei. Tomorrow is my 16th birthday. It's a special birthday, so we're going to have a family ceremony. I'm probably going to get some money in lucky envelopes from my relatives. My mother is going to cook noodles. Noodles are for a long life. Mr. and Mrs. Aoki, Kyoto. My husband is going to be 60 tomorrow. In Japan, the 60th birthday is called Kandeki. It's the beginning of a new life. The color red represents a new life. So children often give something red as a present. What are our children going to give him? A red hat and vest. Philippe Jolie, Paris. I'm going to be 30 next week, so I'm going to invite three very good friends out to dinner. In France, when you have a birthday, you often invite people out. In some countries, I know it's the opposite. People take you out. Okay. Let's look here. Family Are there any questions, any words? Yeah, I have a doubt. What mm -hmm. is wish? What is? Wish. Wish. W-A-S-H. W-A. Maybe, uh, let me put in the chat. I think it's deseo. Is W, is this the correct word? Yeah, yeah. It's Ah, okay, no problem. Yes, it's W I W I S A. Ah, I. Yes, it's like in the birthday. In the birthday, you, I, I think, I think, and then you make a wish. Ah, uh, the sale. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other words? It's in the WhatsApp also, you can check. Remember, the, the good is here when you are listening and reading. In the right, you can see in Spanish what is the idea. Okay, here is also to help you with the idea. So what are we going to do now with our partners? Now with our partners, we are going to answer. We are going to, one moment, we are going to read Elena Buenaventura. We're going to read Heng Zheng Zhao Ching, okay? 
and we are going to answer the questions. Is true or false or depends, okay? So here, now with the partner, we read and answer the questions. It's okay? Yes? Teacher, teacher. Yes? What is mean this envelope is... envelope from my relatives? Envelope, uh-huh. The envelope is in the letter for like for the Christmas or for the birthday, they put stay in the envelope and give you the card. This is the envelope. Gracias. Is okay, Crisia, or no? Mm, no. Okay, Crisia. Okay. Envelopes es como un cartel. Is for the letter, yes. Uh -huh. it, so in the birthday, you open. You open and you say, ah, oh, happy birthday to my friend. This is the inside mm. envelope. Ah, uh, okay. Como una tarjeta. Correct, Crisia. Correct. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, sí. Gracias. You're welcome, Crisia. Okay. So, with your partner, we are going to read and answer the four questions. It's okay? Yeah, teacher. Okay.
Okay, it's okay. Yeah, teacher, it's okay. Let's check, let's be sure, okay. Number one, to celebrate her birthday, Elena's friends are going to pull her ear 21 times. Is true or false? It's true. 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 Excellent. True. Good. Number two, Yang Ping is going to cook some noodles on her birthday. False. Uh, false. 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 Okay. Her mother cooks. Correct. And three, on his birthday, Mr. Aoki is going to receive something red. True. 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 Okay. And Philip's Jolly. Philip's friends are going to take him out to dinner on his birthday. False. 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 Okay. Excellent. You see, all are correct. Very good. Any questions? No, teacher. My impulse relatives is pariente. Correct. Relatives is parientes. Correct. Okay. 
Okay, good. This, we finish lesson one. Now we are going to begin lesson two. Lesson two is parts of the body, okay? Here we have different parts of the body. So we're going to watch the video and see and learn different parts of the body. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for discussing different parts of the body. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Parts of the body. Head. Eye. Ear. Nose. Mouth. Tooth. Teeth. Chin. Back. Shoulder. Chest. Stomach. Throat. Neck. Wrist. Arm. Elbow. Thumb. Hand. Finger. Fingers. Leg. Knee. Ankle. Foot. Feet. Toe. Toes. Make sure that you memorize this vocabulary. An easy way to do this is by pointing to your head and expressing, this is my head. Then pointing to your arm and saying, this is my arm. Remember, the goal is to learn this vocabulary. So do this until you have learned all the vocabulary words. Okay. So here we have parts of the body. Let's take a look. In the WhatsApp, I also put the picture. Okay. Let's try one more time. Are there any words that you don't know? Hay alguna palabra que no les queda claro qué es, porque no se puede ver o no saben o no están seguros. Any words you don't know? Que es toe. Toe. Toes is el dedo gordo del pie. Oh, no. Toe. Oh. No. Tooth. 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 Ah, tooth es tooth. Tooth. Diente. Very good. Tooth. Teeth. 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 Dientes. Ah, improvla. Oh. Uh -huh. Teacher, it's shoulder. What's this? Shoulders. Oh, this is the yeah. shoulder. Hombros. Right. Hombros. Okay. Chest is pecho, verdad? Correct. This is the chest. Is uh, the pronunciation uh, wrist? Creo que dice. Correct, Wendy. Wrist. 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 Es muñeca. Correct. This is the wrist. And y el, pul el pulgar. Thumb. T H O. Thumb. Repeat, please. Thumb. 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 Como, como Thumb. que fuera Z o como, no lo escucho bien. Thumb. 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 Let me put. Mm -hmm. Con Z. Con Z. I'm not listening. Very okay. Well. Voy a poner todos en silencio para que se pueda bien. Espérate. Thumb. Thumb. ¿Es ok, Wendy? Ok, good. ¿Any other words? Sí, señor. Thank you. Yes. ¿Puede pronunciarme nariz y boca? Ok, nariz. No. Mm -hmm. Nose. Nose. Boca. Mouth. 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 Teacher, garganta, ¿me puede ayudar cómo pronunciarlo? Throat. Conté al final. Throat. Throat. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Chin is barbilla. Correct. 
tem. Uhum. Ok. Eu não entendo, não. Está tudo bem? Back, espalda. Correct. Neck es cuello. Correct. Mm -hmm. It's okay, the other words? Yeah, yeah. Um, yes. Please, please, teacher, sorry. Puede uh, pronunciar, es que la, el uncle eh, se tiende a confundir con el tío, pues. El, la, el, la, la diferen, diferente, ¿lo puede pronunciar los dos, por favor. El, el cual. Uncle. Uncle de. Tobillo. A tobillo. Enco. 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 Y de pariente sería uncle. Correct. Y tobillo es enco. Enco. Uh -huh. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Any other words? Trot. No. Ahora, como él menciona... En el el... chat... Yes? En el chat, este... The pronunciation... Rodilla. Ni. 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 Ni y neck. Okay. Yes. Y como él menciona, lo, <ríe> la mejor forma es ir escuchándolo nuevamente y aquí a la par... Está en español para que puedan ubicar y si tienen una computadora lo pueden hacer más grande la imagen para ver las líneas a qué corresponde para que así vayan practicando. Chin. Ah, entonces van a decir, ah, chin. Y aquí va a aparecer lo que significa chin. Ok. ¿Cuál es la técnica para aprenderse el vocabulario? Cuando lo vaya repitiendo, vaya tocándose la parte del cuerpo para que se les vaya quedando. Entonces, si ustedes escuchan chin, no solo digan la palabra chin, sino que tóquense chin para que se vayan asociando qué es. Nose, okay. mouth, y así con toda la parte del cuerpo. Esta es la ventaja y ese es el propósito de ver los videos antes. Porque acuérdense, la idea de ver o la idea de la plataforma no es para que vengamos a explicarlo, es para practicarlo. Pero no lo podemos practicar si no han hecho el trabajo de los videos antes. Entonces, ahí es donde podemos ver, no, nos ayuda ver los videos antes de la clase. Porque hace, si no nos quedó claro algo o no estamos seguros cómo pronunciarlo, ahí podemos hacerlo. ¿Ok? Entonces, es para que podamos aprovechar un poco más el tiempo. Acuérdense, los videos están aquí. Practiquen nuevamente y vamos a ¿El qué, Vanessa? Pero, ¿por qué me gusta verlo, mami? ¿Vanessa? ¿Cuál era la consulta? No, <risa> ninguna. Ah, su hija era la que decía algo. La que... Sí, él está hablando. Ok, ok. No problem, no problem, Vanessa. Ok, perfecto. She wants to learn, teacher. That's good. Deja la The que... baby. That's good. That's excellent. Uh -huh. Ok. Now we continue with the next video. Here we're going to see. Okay, this is we're going to learn how to use have and the noun and feel. Okay, this is we're going to use how we're going to watch a video to describe how you feel. Okay, here we have vocabulary. How do you feel and what's wrong or what's the matter? Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to express different illnesses. For example, I have a headache. I don't feel well. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I feel homesick. I feel homesick. Hey, Kenichi, how are you? Oh, I'm not so good, actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache and a backache. 
Maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad. But maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Now let's take a look at the examples on this chart. Have plus noun. Feel plus adjective. What's the matter? What's wrong? I have a headache. I have a backache. I have the flu. How are you? How do you feel? I feel homesick. I feel better. I don't feel well. Negative adjectives sick, awful, terrible, miserable. Positive adjectives fine, great, terrific, fantastic. I would like to start by explaining the examples on the left hand side of this chart. How to form statements with have plus noun. We can follow this formula to do that. Subject plus have plus noun. Let's analyze the first example. I have a headache. The subject is I. Then we need to put have. Finally, we include a noun, a headache. Let's take a look at one more example. I have the flu. The subject is I. Then we need to put have. Finally, we include the noun, the flu. Now, I would like to show you how to form statements with feel plus adjective. We can follow this formula. Subject plus feed. Okay. ¿Qué es la diferencia entre I have and I feel? ¿Qué entendieron que va a ser la diferencia cuando usamos I have and I feel? And I have, the meaning is yo tengo dolor de cabeza, for example. And I feel, yo me siento, no sé, me siento mal. Enfermo. Enfermo. Me siento enfermo o resfriado. I feel pretty happy. Feel is subjective. Very good. Excellent example. Excellent example. I have lo que tienen. I have a cold. I have the flu. I have COVID. Así es lo que tienen. I feel como se sienten. I feel happy. I feel sick. I feel cold. I feel hot. It's okay the difference? Yeah, teacher. Okay, teacher. Yes. Okay. Okay, good, good. Let's finish the video. Feel plus adjective. Let's analyze the example. I feel homesick. The subject is I. Then we need to add feel. Finally, we need to put an adjective, homesick. Or it can be any of these adjectives towards the right. I feel sick. Awful, terrible, miserable, fine, great, terrific, fantastic. Now it's your turn to practice. So you can use any of this with I feel. I feel sick. I feel fine. I feel awful. I feel great. I feel terrible. I feel terrific. Teacher. I, yes. Porque está terrific en lo positivo. Porque es positivo. 
¿Qué, qué entiendes que es true? ¿Y ¿Qué significa? Es fantástico. Oh. Ok, gracias. You're welcome. ¿Qué, qué creía que significaba, Eric? No, terrible, no sé. terrible. Ah, Eso creía terrible. yo que significaba también. Perfecto, terrible el que está a la par. Porque, ajá, porque sí. Terrible. Yo, yo había pensado de que se había sentido fantástico, pero yo dije fantasy. Similar, fantástico. Exacto, fantástico. como fantástico. Terrific, fantástico. excelente. Uh -huh. Terrific. Terrific. Que no es estupendo. Eh. Estupendo. Uh -huh. oh. Ok. Ah, porque terrific, pensé que era negativo, entonces. No, no, el, el negativo, el que lleva la B, terrible, terrible. Y es ah, terrible, too. terrible, terrible. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Ok. Gracias, teacher. You're welcome, you're welcome. Ok, entonces, ¿qué es lo que tenemos que hacer para tarea? Uno, tenemos que repasar la parte del cuerpo para que se nos vaya quedando. Okay. Vamos a ver la parte del cuerpo. Lo segundo es que vamos a ver mañana, hablando de enfermedades, medicamentos comunes. Por ejemplo, viro grip, acetaminofén. Pero ¿cómo se llaman estos medicamentos? Para esto sería bueno que hoy en la noche de tarea miren el 2.6, el video 2.6 para tener una idea de cómo describir cuando alguien se siente mal. Eso es lo que vamos a hacer mañana. Describir cómo nos sentimos y dar recomendaciones de cómo mejorar. Qué medicamentos tomar y qué cosas hacer. ¿Ok? Ok. okay. ¿Hay algo okay. de la clase de okay. este día que no les quedó claro? ¿Hay algo que no están seguros que es? All clear, teacher. Okay. For me, Then, right. have a good night. It's okay. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye. Thank you for coming. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye, bye teacher. Bye.